the Yum Brands Kentucky Derby next. The first part of the American Triple Crown. Is this the run for the Roses? This one, Chaldean at the top for Dan Hills, or should we call that Chaldean? Grand Forks, Manson, Vinnie Gerard, Isambard, Brunel, Paul Rhodes, Shaw, Grease, James Shea, take the high ground, Jim Murray. Time to play the game, Joshua Southern, Trumpet, Coup, James Shea, Brown, Thomas, Paul Rhodes, City Tribunal, Jim Murray, Double Indemnity, Leon Van Rensburg, Fine Purple Hero, and Morning Ice Hero for Munat, and Tide the Rushka. Darren Thompson, they're all in and ready to go. And away they go in the first leg of the American Triple Crown. And it's going to be Morning Ice Hero and take the high ground who are going to dispute the lead, I think. But now Morning Ice Hero has gone on and has opened up into a two length lead. So Morning Ice Hero it is then from Isambard Brunel in second. Double Indemnity is third. Then comes Brown Thomas and Cal Dean after that one. And after that, time to play the game. Fine Purple Hero and looking towards the back of the field. Trumpet Q tied. The Rushka and Shaw Grease are the back three. They're one inside the final mile now. And Morning Ice Hero is the one that's making an early break for home. Four lengths clear of the chasing pack who are headed by Caldean in the blue. Then comes Isambard Brunel. Brown Thomas. Double Indemnity is after that one. And then time to play the game. Tom, a fine Purple Hero. City Tribunal is after that one. And then Grand Forks Mountain. The Grey Tribunal to get into it but it's still this morning ice hero that's showing the way at the moment from Chaldean in second then comes Brown Thomas in third isn't Bard Brunel on the inside is four City Tribunal now move around the outside the one that's wide on the track is time to play the game double indemnity is still well placed so it is the grey Grand Forks Mountain looking towards the back shore Greece is the one that's rolling around wide on the track toward the Rushka with work to do trying to find a gap through on the inside the one struggling out the back is take the high ground but it's morning ice hero as they come round now towards the straight morning ice hero is in the lead fine purple hero the stable companion is in second then comes City Tribunal, Brown Thomas trying to play the game, Chaldean struggling to get a bit of a run through, Double Indemnity is next, Isambard Brunel is trying to get through on the outside but it's Morning Ice Hero from Brown Thomas City Tribunal, then comes Fine Purple Hero, it's only just over a furlong to go and it's a Munas 1-2 at the moment Morning Ice Hero from Fine Hero and now here they come, now City Tribunal, time to play the game flying up the centre of the track, it's Trumpet Coup and Isambard Brunel, it's Trumpet Coup is flying, City Tribunal on the road Trumpet Coup, City Tribunal and really really fucked on the outside Jim Morris take the high ground has taken the high ground the low ground the middle ground all the ground and taken their race and what a thrilling finish to that race there goodness me there were about five horses were going to win that in the final quarter furlong take the high ground has absolutely flown around the outside and I got a feeling that Jim Morris said he'd been targeting these races well if he has done he certainly done it right because oh, I believe that horse won. Sank the high ground. Jim Murray is the winner of the Kentucky Derby or the Kentucky Derby even. Trumpet Coup is second for James Shea who <laughs> looked like he'd have got the race in the back. Time to play the game. Joshua Southern back in third. City Tribunal Jim Murray fourth and Morning Ice Hero for Munas was fifth. Absolutely thrilling finish to that. Sank the high ground. Absolutely flying on the outside to take the first leg of the American Triple Crown.